<laughs> Hi, I'm Matt Matson, owner of Game Junkie, uh, independent game store in Cincinnati, um, for the last uh, in Westchester, Ohio, for the last five years. And uh, we're gonna take you on a virtual, not a virtual tour. We're gonna take you on a real tour through Game Junkie. So come on in with me, and we'll uh, tell you all about the history of the store. All right. As you see, when you come in the store, we got Master Chief. He likes to, you know, meet and greet all of the Game Junkie customers that come. You know, it's a good way to say, hey, we're about fun here. We're not going to take life too seriously. We're about having fun. That's what Game Junkie is all about. We got the battle station. This was a key element uh, for the store when I started creating it. Um, this would be a place where people could try out any game in the store before they, before they bought it, which would make us unique and also a place where we could have tournaments and that uh, would facilitate that. Over here, we got our, right now, currently, our Nintendo DS and, and Wii sections where we have all the newest and hottest Nintendo and DS releases. This column's right here, were made by me and my grand, me and my grandfather, me and my uh, father-in-law. Um, in fact, most of the store was built by me and my father-in-law. All the kind of the battle station, the countertops, all that were handcrafted, um, custom built by yours truly, and a bunch of help from other people. So here we go, come on through here. We still got here's the other side of the battle station. We got Spider-Man. Spider oh, I didn't mention that Master Chief and Spider-Man here were both donated by my brother Mark Matson, who's incredibly generous and gave them to me as, as gifts for the store. So I would like to thank my brother Mark right now because we wouldn't have these awesome guys to kind of greet everybody and scare the little children. Over on this section, back there in the back corner, we've got PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 2 into here. And here, as you can see, we've got the, the Japanese flag which means you have just entered into the import section. Well, now it's also board games too. But import section is a little depleted because we're getting ready to close and we haven't been ordering as many imports. But you got, still got some crazy import goodness right there. We just started carrying in about the last year. We started carrying board games and that's really taken off for us. We have board game nights on Sunday nights. We usually get a pretty good turnout for board game night. Board game night is free of charge. We don't charge anybody anything for that. Now, when I was creating the store, I said, you know, what do people like? We see here, my, you might hear the music in the background. We've got an awesome sound system. And, you know, we needed to have energy in the store. So it was really important for me to have, to have music constantly playing in the store, as well as providing beverages. Like, what do gamers like to do? Well, they like to buy games. They like to stay up all night playing games. So what do they need? They need fuel. And what we call is Game Junkie Food. So we've got uh, Game Junkie Food, and part of that would be energy drinks. Um, at one point, I think we had over 40 um, unique energy drinks, and this is just a small selection of our energy drinks. You also might want to get a shot over here. Uh, but we got a couple of little knickknacks that we got, I don't know, some of these are kind of have been forgotten, long forgotten. This is kind of the forgotten corner of Game Junkie. This stuff hasn't had a home in a while, so if you're feeling like you got a little money burning in your pocket, you might want to come down to the store and buy some Rodney Green Black Gumball Machine Gods. My favorite, my favorite bubble gum machine god is, um, where do you at? Where is he at? Wolf New. And Wolf New is kind to animals. Look, he's a little puppy, he's a little dog, and he likes to hang out with chickens and, and cows. He's cool. He's my favorite. Don't trip, don't trip, that's important. Okay, this thing right here, see this cooler? This is the Balls Cooler. This is the only one you're gonna see like this in the world. Why? Because we made it by hand. We said we need a Balls Cooler. We couldn't get Balls to send us a cooler. We're like the number one seller of Balls in the, in the universe. Even aliens don't sell as much Balls as we do. So we said, we want a cooler, and they were like, ah, you don't, we can't send you a cooler. So we made our own. Well, it used to be a Pepsi cooler. And here it is, right here we got Balls. We got sugar-free Balls and cherry balls. I tried balls for the first time at E3, actually in the Mad Cats booth, and I didn't know what it was. They, I thought it was some kind of, they said it was some kind of caffeinated water or something, but it's more like a cream soda. And uh, I said, we need that as a signature drink of the store. And we probably sold over, I believe over 20,000 bottles of this Guana Blue Balls. For chow. All right, where should we go? I don't know, I don't know. There's so much to see here. I don't even know where to take you next. We've got our Game Junkie section. People could buy Game Junkie. You got the running the controllers. 
which is a video that we record every year when we do our um, decathlon. And uh, we do skits, you know, a la Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live type of skits, all based on video games. This is hilarious stuff. You can probably search the internet and find some stuff on that. We also have our grand opening. Look at these are rare. Uh, grand opening 2003. It says right there, limited edition grand opening 2003. Are you a game junkie? Theme song and soundtrack, right there. Um, made my one of my one of my good friends Andrew Rothman, who used to be an acapella group with me. He helped write that with me. We've got game junkie hats. We got shirts. We've got these sweet, oh my god, I only got one of these left. These are going to be collector's items some days. Mark my word. Go on eBay for like $500. Game Junkie sporty jackets. I've got one myself. Let's see what else we have here. And also, you can also get the GameBot. You can check out GameBot online. They're pretty sweet guys. They do a uh, podcast now. They don't have a game TV show, but they're hilarious. They cover all classic games. I love Blitch, uh, Blake Leftwich. He's my man. He's cool. Check him out. All right, what else do we have? We got the gotcha machine. Now, originally, they, when I bought this machine to sell all kinds of toys out of, they had a lot more Nintendo and video game type stuff. Right now, all we have that's Nintendo video game related is Pokemon, but it's still cool. It's very Japanese looking, which I like the look of it. And then, you know, you can display all the cool figures. We still got some cool stuff. People like the gotcha machine. For you cool, game, for you cool gamers, you're probably a little embarrassed when you come to the store because we have Bellicera cards but the little girls eat this stuff up and the parents, they love it, so I just sold a couple packs a day. So you have to just, you know, you have to be secure with your gamerhood and just be able to be accept the Bellicera cards. Over here, we got all of our new releases on the back wall. And uh, you can see we got Smash Brothers back there. And what else, anything else good? We Ski, we're out of We Fit, we just saw that We Fit Grand Theft Auto 4, all the hot new stuff, accessories, game systems. Like I said, all the counters were hand built. I want to back up Tim and get us a nice good picture of, a, of the cashier's register here with Pixel and all the cool diamond plate. Pixel actually hired a person to, to design Pixel that um, is our Game Junkie Monkey. He's Pixel the Game Junkie Monkey. And um, he also has, uh, people don't know this, he's got a little brother named Sprite and a girlfriend named Polygon but uh, they have not really been made in physical form yet. But that's Pixel. He's the, got the power glove on his right hand, and I want him to be cool, kind of like Sonic, something that little kids would like and um, kind of represent the store. So well, now that we're talking about Pixel, let's go over here. I'm gonna show you a little quick thing about the, uh, the uh, Pixel's picks. So when we picked, when we decided to have Pixel, he's on the game stations, as you've seen, where people can test out the games. But Pixel was also a person who loves video games and he's about quality, but he's also about just fun. And even if a game's not a huge blockbuster hit, um, he likes the quirky games. He also likes the classic games. So Pixel's a big fan of stuff like um, Elite Beat Agents and games like that. He's just a, he, you know, he loves Shadow of the Colossus, but he also likes some of the mainstream stuff. And Pixel gets a little sticker on the games that, that get Pixel's seal of quality. So that's Pixel. Back to the counter, we've got some cool cards. We've expanded into the cards. And uh, UFS, we've got a huge following for Uf UFS. UFS, Ultimate Fight System. Um, is that what it stands for? Ultimate Fighting System? Ultimate Fighting, awesome system. fighting system. And uh, we've got all the really cool UFS cards. I'm not a carder myself. I know they don't call them themselves carders, but that's what I call them. They're carders. We don't really have, we got some dice bags. That's brand new. We just started carrying some dice bags because I needed some dice bags from one of my games. So what's great about owning a game on game store, you want something, you just get it for the store. It's really cool. Okay, let's see. Anything over here? Okay, I don't know. We got this is our soundboard. Check out where the soundboard is. Show them the soundboard. That's our soundboard where we control. That's the, the central. Where we also have our wireless microphones where we can get the crowds all pumped up and excited. Okay, you want to you know, probably do a backup here for the uh, for the caffeine bar. Our, our, oh, we have this really cool sign called, which used to be also the Kotaku Bell, which is, um, we had a big sign, but it fell and somebody broke it. What'd you say? Otaku Bell? Otaku Bell. Kotaku, not not Kotaku. Kotaku Bell. <laughs> Kotaku Bell, but it's, um, it's gone. Kotaku? Otaku. Otaku. Otaku, Otaku Bell. Otaku Bell. <laughs> Kotaku's a blog. Kotaku's a blog. Kotaku's a blog. I didn't really know my own game store. I really do. I really did invent all most of the stuff. That was actually Adam Stewart's idea. 
what was my idea and he implemented the logo. I don't even remember. I usually take credit even if it wasn't me. But I think I think it was a joint effort. Um, oh, we also have the Pokemon clock, which is classic. That's classic Game Junkie all the way. We've had that since we opened. That's actually from the Nintendo World Store. And when, when, it, when it plays, when the, we gotta get closer. I'm gonna take it off the wall. You come close for this. This is cool. What the Kotaku? The yeah, but there's a button. Let me see. Display, monitor, monitor, display. Okay, monitor. I think we'll do it. Let's try that. Watch what happens when it strikes at the top of the hour. You see New York City and the Pokemon dancing in the background to the jolly music from Pokemon. Dun, 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 dun. I think it plays like three of the Pokemon songs or six or something like that, three or six. And then it goes all the way around and the Pokeball reseals itself. How cool is that? That's always been here above the energy bar. All right, so this is the energy bar. Another, we had, we had a relaunch of the store, I don't know, about three years into the store, we had what we call Game Junkie 2.0. What I wanted to do was just, just reinvigorate people with excitement about the store. So we, so over one, a couple days, we did a lot of stuff. We uh, repainted the back wall, which you're going to see in a little bit, where we have our big screen television. Um, it used to have really cool design, but my wife came in and she full finished it and put some really cool game stuff and it's really neat. So we redid the wall, we redid the, the, the balls cooler, which we saw earlier. Um, we also redid, we're going to show you guys in a minute here, um, we have a Guitar Hero booth. I don't think Guitar Hero is actually in it right now, but it was in it. Usually is in it. Right now I think it's got some broken down Xbox. Usually Guitar Hero is in it and that booth has been three or four things throughout the year. Um, but we had just debuted the Guitar Hero booth. That looks like Eddie Van Halen's guitar from the 80s. And we also debuted Snowballs. So now you can get your, your creamy blue ball goodness in frozen concoction form. Mm, I'm going to really miss the Snowballs. <laughs> we may have to take that in my basement. That will be sweet. It's really loud though. Mm. All right. They finally did. By the way, we were kind of complaining about balls. We finally had to buy a pallet of balls at one time, which is 72 cases, which we sold at an anime convention. And right here is what they sent us. They sent us a nice little quick cooler where we can keep the balls icy cold during f &L. So thank you for finally coming through, but I only had to buy like $4,000 worth of balls or $2,000, something like that. All right, this is another Game Junkie creation. This is called the Arcade Station. We've sold like two of these. We've made them hand custom made for clients, customers, and uh, we also have one in the store. We have pixel tokens. Wait a minute, I'll be right back. When I was growing up, there was arcades. For you old guys like me, you remember arcades. For you young guys, you probably don't remember what the heck those are. But arcades always had like signature tokens that had their, their, their logo on it. Well, we actually have created, and we had these at the launch, these are Pixel tokens. It says Pixels Arcade, and it says, in Pixel We Trust 2004. So I guess that wasn't at launch, so I lied about that, but that must have been like a year later. So a year later, we debuted the arcade station, home built, and then on the back side, it's got the Game Junkie logo. Is that good, can you see that? All right. So what you do is you take, go up, you wanna see what kind of game you're playing? Oh, I wanna play, uh, let's play some really fun game, like um, Mario Brothers. Hit the player one button. Pow! Watches Mario Brothers. You're throwing a couple pixel tokens into the coin slot. You hit player one, and you're off and going. But let me show you a game junkie favorite. You might want to get close on this. This game is amazing. At our Friday Night Live events, which is a teen event, most teens, we have some that are college age and older, like me, show up. But um, it's mostly a teen event. We have a teen event that runs um, every Friday night and it goes until midnight and they play tournaments. We have, it's like a dance club mixed with video gaming, which is like a party. And it's just a safe place for kids to hang out on, on, on a Friday night to not get in trouble. And then we've had a tournament and this game right here is one of our favorite quirky, crazy games. Um, it's called Off the Wall, but we have another name for it. We call it SRT for Super Cool Tennis. 
and uh, it's about to boot up. And you're gonna see why this game is amazing. I'm gonna throw in some coins. Kerchow, kerchow. Bam. You see, it's off the wall comes up. This game is a little bit like Pong, mixed up with a little bit of tennis. You can knock the ball over the net. You're trying to beat the other guy if it hits the, the on his side. But it can't hit once as long as it doesn't hit your paddles. You'll see I'm going to let it bounce and it goes over the net. But we've got four of us that are really good at this game. And we've had a challenge going on. Every year, every, not every year, every time that we have the challenge, we increase the amount of prize money up by $10. And we're up to like $300 now in prize money, even maybe even higher than that, nobody has been able to cash in. I've offered people f time to play the game for free. I'll give them free tokens to play this game. And yet, um, you know, nobody's been able to beat the Fab Four. The Elite Eight, the best of the best. What can I say? Except for it's a little quirky right now, it's slowing up. But that's the arcade station, made by Game Junkies, or Game Junkies. Professor helped me out with that. Thank you, Professor, you're the man. Oh, we forgot the balls chair. I want to thank Richella and his, uh, his crew of fellas. He loves balls as much as we do, and he decided to make a balls throne, and he brought it into the store. It's a little dusty because I just removed some boxes off the top of it, so you have to excuse that. But <laughs> that is, how epic is that? I don't remember how many balls bottles. It's like 100. No, I don't remember how many. It's a lot. We calculated it one time. Check out the boards. Okay, what else do we got? Okay, we got some classic games. We carry classic games like this. Amazing. Look how, look at the shrink wrap job on this thing. This thing is awesome. This is Mario Paint. Shrink wrap, nice mouse, everything's working. We got Dreamcast games. We've got Super Nintendo games, NES games, Sega Genesis on this side. Here's our wrap. Oh, wait. I'm going to play. Wait, this is a cool game store. They let me sit down and play video games just to check it out. I want to check this game out. I've never heard of this game. What's this Mario Brothers stuff? Is this any good? Let's check it out. Wait, this looks all right. This looks all right. Two-player game. Oh, this is awesome. How cool is this? This store is sweet. Here's some used with the game junkie seal of quality. If there's any problem with this, you bring it right back and we'll replace it. No problem. We've got some crazy PlayStation 1 games. We've got a bunch of pre-owned systems. And here we've got another arcade station that we're working on in the background. It's about 99%. If you guys need an arcade station for your house, for your basement, for your rec room, give us a call. We got one ready to go. It's ready to go. And if you want to back up, we got to turn around. We got the couch. This is where we're going to call this the big screen area. And, and you're standing in it right now, but if we back up, swing around, this is where for family members or on tournaments, we also feature our, our tournament, our tournament. Uh, finals a lot of times or our main featured featured matches we'll have on the big screen but uh, if not during the time it's a place for families to come out hang out play some Wii play some boom blocks play some um, rock band have a rock band tournament that's what this area is all about and this is the we call this the curved wall for obvious reasons it's a wall and it is curved and um, as you can see there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in Half-Life we got Mario we got Pokemon we got Zelda got a history of video games on there and my wife will finish that during the Game Junkie 2.0 um, launch and uh, we didn't have too many bugs in that either so it was good it was a good launch uh, here we go this is a Super Mario pinball we're gonna turn them on so you can see what this looks like okay I lied it's not plugged in but uh, if it were plugged in it would light up really cool and everything we got a, a bumper that's been busted for a while we need to get it fixed so Scooter, if you're hearing this, get your buddy. You can fix our paint for us. Here's a section where we, where we store all of our drinks and stuff for the um, for the arcade, for the arcade, for the, for the drink bars, the energy bar. Um, I don't know where else to go. Oh wait, is this it? Is this all the stores? No, we got more. Come on, I'll show you. It's really it's it's right, the somebody busted the toilet. But this is the pack room. This is famous. This has been on like every blog on the internet. It was on Kotaku. It was on I don't know what other big blogs. I know it was on a lot of them. Um, lot blogs, Dig. big ones. Dig. It was Doug. They, they dug it. Dig dug it. Dig dug. And that's a video game too. Wait, let's turn on the lights. Again. What is going on? This is the pack room. My mother-in-law helped me with this. A lot of these tiles. See, see, a lot of these. We got this mural of, of mosaics of Pac-Man. We got we got Pinky over here. 
you've got, I don't remember the rest, Inky, Binky, Plinky, and Clyde, I don't remember which ones they are, but that's obviously Pinky. And then if you turn it to the back, whoop, you got Mrs. Pac-Man and Mr. Pac-Man meeting in the middle. I know they make Mr. Pac-Man, you crazy people. I know it's Mr. Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man. They're going to meet at the Cherry and have a good time. But some of these tiles, if you look really close, some of them are one inch tiles. Well, some of them are hand cut with a diamond blade by me because they only came in, in four inch squares. So I had that diamond cut and it was all a mess. But we had to diamond hand cut a lot of the tiles that they didn't have, the four by fours. But my, my mother-in-law, Linda, she helped me with this. She, uh, I laid it out as far as like how they were supposed to lay out on the computer. And then she did all the laying of the tile. So I cut them and she laid them, so that was awesome. And I had this in my collection. This was a, this might have been a 2.0, around the 2.0 time. I had this Pac-Man record and I figured it would fit the motif. And here I bought a uh, cover glass for Mrs. Pac-Man. So I thought that would make a really cool mirror. So that's from an actual arcade Mrs. Pac-Man. And that's, and this is the Pac-Man. Well, that's one last place to show you. This is not as exciting as everything else but you know just for my memories this is you know this we've had a lot of things going on lots of stuff we had front ant lives we have to store everything we're in and out of this room a lot this is a storage room for those of you who have not been able to see this this is kind of like kind of like when they unveiled um capone's al capone's vault so here we go here's your chance to see the craziness there you go i had one brilliant idea we used to always put all these chairs Sit back there. We used to have all these chairs everywhere, which we still have some, but they would always get in the way when we were always like breaking fire code, which we're obviously breaking now. So I hope no fire people are watching this. Um, but we have, well, this is the networking system we got for all, all of our computers are also networked, I mean, and all of our video games, so you can go down the internet and all that stuff. But that's besides the point. So we had the chairs, and they're always in the way. So I had this idea, you can see there's a rope up there with a uh, with, uh, carabiner pulley. pulley with a pulley. So we were going to actually pulley up. I was going to crank up the chairs and we did it like once or twice and I think it almost fell and killed somebody. So I, that wasn't one of my better ideas. But uh, there you go. It's a leftover with the pulley system. And uh, I don't know. Let's, let's see what anything cool in here. We got Ryan Free hooked this up with this. We never really utilized it. But it's, uh, it's from the Wii display. Stolen from Target. Not stolen. They were going to throw it away. We, didn't, so we don't steal, we don't endorse thievery of any kind. <laughs> Unless it's stealing from your EB games or something like that. No, I'm just kidding. It's okay. No. <laughs> so then we've got our security system hidden somewhere. See how secure it is? Because <laughs> we like to hide it so even the security system is secret. Um, we've got a brand new, that's not it though, but we do have, that might be it. We have a brand new NES in box that somebody brought. Somebody's calling it right now, but we're going to ignore them. And uh, laminator, crazy stuff. Our oh, this room is just nuts. We got all kinds of crazy stuff in it. We built those shelves too around steel, the 2.0. Steel battalion, isn't it? Yeah, we got steel battalion controller hanging out there at the top. You just never know what they're gonna find in this room. This is like, this is like Willy Wonka's factory or something. So that was the tour. Let's go back out. I don't want to end the tour in the back room. And that's kind of weak. Right there. Good wide shot of the store. That's the tour of Game Junkie. Um, oh, we didn't do the booth. Come over here. This is the Guitar Hero booth right now. Did you see, we decorated. It was my idea to do it in a uh, Eddie Van Halen guitar style. So we got the red, black, and white tape. Before this, it was actually Donkey Konga Hut, and it looked like an authentic jungle hut, which we had Donkey Konga in it. We also displayed Jungle Beat. It had, it had bamboo wrapped around it. We built a roof on top with a grass roof. And uh, before that, it was a steel battalion booth right when we opened. So it had the camo everywhere. And you could go in and the door would close and it felt like you were in the cockpit of a giant you know, mech. So we turned it, when we did Game Junkie 2.0, we turned it into the Eddie Van Halen guitar booth. And I picked a good game because it stayed popular for a long time. So we haven't had to change that. <laughs> so that was awesome. And uh, let's, go back. let's go back and get the wide shot of the store. And we'll get, we'll get the closing. So thank you for coming on the tour of Game Junkie with me. Um, this is for the, for the historical vault. By the time most of you see this, the store will no longer be in existence. But it's been an amazing and fun five years. I want to thank everybody 
um, for just for all the customers and all the people that have given their heart and all the workers and um, just everybody that has, has helped with the store, um, how much that means to me. And uh, you know, this is for the rest of the world. For those of you who are unlucky and didn't get to live in Westchester and experience um, the awesomeness that was Game Junkie, um, hopefully this will give you just a, kind of a taste, although it's really hard to get a taste without actually seeing the, uh, the community, because that's what Game Junkie is all about. But um, this is the store, this is the Game Junkie. Thank you.